Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we're going to be checking out the RMA Model 1078 Level 3 uh, armor plate here and we're going to be doing some testing here. Now in some of our previous videos we've done uh, you know some pretty redneck uh, science type testing on some of these plates and uh, we love testing armor right. We thought today what would be an interesting exercise uh, we are going to shoot an initial NIJ type test. We're going to shoot M80 ball at this plate from 16 feet away out of a 20 inch barrel. All right, so that right there is going to show that it can stop the threat that it's rated for. These are NIJ certified uh, plates. Uh, these things come in at an outstanding value as well. RMA has been doing a really great job with their armor and uh, we love testing their stuff. And it's a very lightweight plate as well. So we're going to start out by lobbing an M M80 ball round. It's Lithuanian. Uh, triple G M80, which is perfectly in spec M80 ball. We'll get that test out of the way, but we thought what would be cool would to do like maybe a bit of a standoff test, right? Some of you guys were asking in some of our other armor tests, they're like, well, it's cool that you can, you know, throw a whole bunch of crazy threats at this stuff at close range and show that it can soak up a whole lot of damage. But what if you throw a threat at the plate that it's not designed to take, but you increase the standoff range, all right? So let's say you were standing 100, 150, maybe 200 yards away, and this plate got hit with something really nasty that it's not designed to stop. That's something that's completely outside of the NIJ certification. Uh, so we will do the NIJ certification test just to show it can stop the threat it's designed to stop. But that's an interesting point. All right, what if, you know, this plate is not designed to soak up 5.56. So what if we shoot 5.56 at 100 yards and maybe do a couple of rounds and see if it'll stop it at a standoff distance. Something people may not really think about. So I think that's what we're gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this plate with the SCAR here. This is a SCAR Model 20S. We're gonna be using M80 ball. It's a one in 12 twist with a 20 inch barrel. This is an Arkin SH4 Gen 2 uh, that is on this particular uh, gun. A very value minded optic with a lot of great features that we're gonna be running, which you know, for 16 feet, I hope that uh, I don't have to use this optic too much to go that far. Uh, but we might try lobbing uh, some other nasty threats at longer range. I do have a PSL here with me with some 147 grain light ball ammunition that has a mild iron penetrator in it. Uh, we might try putting uh, one of these plates up to maybe 277 and uh, try some long range shots with the PSL, which is more of a level four threat. All right, let's do it. Lithuanian Triple G M80 ball arguably the best M80 ball there is. All right, out of a 20 inch barrel, out of the SCAR 20S here, 16 feet into our level three armor plate. Man, I couldn't imagine, like if you turn the corner and there's a dude standing there with this and you, and you just have to go like, oh, let's just get this over with, shall we? All right. like we hit right along the top edge of the uh, plate, didn't we, Chad? Actually, that might be a good test because anytime you get near the edge, you get into the danger area. Let's have a look. Okay, that was a lot quieter than I thought it would be. Y'all notice that? That can? On the scar, only 16 feet away, I was like, did I miss? Because I expected to hear a louder sound. All right, we hit right here. Let's have a look. And I'm actually glad that we hit as high as we did because that is gonna give us the ability to put a few more rounds on the other quadrant of this plate. Okay, here we are. Oh, wow, look at that, up at the top there. All right, we got a nice clean shot and it's always interesting to get near the edge. Now there's a considerable amount of back face deformation, but it caught the round. Very nice. This is a very lightweight plate as well, I noticed. Um, that's really um, interesting result. This is a very fairly priced plate as well. So we see that uh, the spec for three is M80 ball and we stopped M80 ball out of a 20 inch barrel uh, and arguably the best M80 ball there is. So I think that puts that to bed. Now we've got the rest of this plate here available. So what we're gonna do, um, I think we've still got a few hits we can make on this plate. Let's stand this off to a hundred yards and let's throw a threat at it that it's not rated for. So we're gonna go with some M855 ball ammunition, also Lithuanian Triple G, and we're gonna shoot it out of an 18 inch DMR at 100, and what I'll do is I'll put a few shots like this, I'll do a bit of a quadrant there, and then we'll back off and hit it with the PSL, which is a level four threat. 
Let's do it. All right. Let's see what we got to work with here. All right, I think we got four impacts. All right, so we're definitely outside of the bounds of NIJ testing. This is a standoff distance with 556 level three plate, which it is not rated for, but at an increased distance of 100 yards. Let's have a look. Got our shots to hit exactly where we wanted, so we got nice, precise shots here. I would expect nothing less out of that rifle. Okay, one, two, three, four, in. And it looks like they went clean through. So we've definitely exceeded the testing standard. All right, but let's do this. All right, all four of those rounds made it through. So that's an interesting result. That 5.56 is no slouch. Now, granted guys, the armor is not rated for this threat. I don't want you to think the armor has failed in some official testing protocol. We're asking this armor to do something that it's not designed to do. With that being said, let's double down on the distance and let's find out what that standoff distance might be for this armor. Let's do it. Now we have the plate out to 200 yards. We're gonna shoot the same load out of the same rifle and we're gonna see if it stops it at this distance. Now, here's the only tiny complication. If it stops it at this distance, we don't really know at what point the true standoff distance is for this load and this rifle and that particular plate because it could stop it somewhere in between 100 and 200. The only distinctive thing we'll know is if it penetrates the plate at two, then we'll know that you better not be <laughs> anywhere within 200 yards with that armor on in front of 5.56. So just for fun, let's see what happens. All right, okay, 200 yards, 62 grain M855 against our level three armor. Now, after this particular test, we're gonna retire this plate and go ahead and get a fresh plate to step up to the PSL and 54R. All right, let's see if it stopped it at this range. Get out of there. All right, there's our original one, two, three, four. And it looks like they hit right here and they went through at 200. Wow. That's something else, isn't it? So I'll tell you what, we're going to get a fresh plate and we're going to back off to 277, add a little bit more range. And I'm going to do two rounds of 556 and we'll hit it with a couple of rounds of uh, ammo out of the, the PSL uh, 762 by 54. And let's just see what happens. All righty. Well, it plays kind of small from here. <laughs> okay, let's give it a shot. Two impacts. Uh, this is a Romanian P uh, PSL. This one was produced in the Kujir factory in Romania in 1998. This is a real deal PSOP optic. Uh, that's the original issue for this particular rifle. Um, it's basically just a, a sized up AK. Uh, a lot of people confuse this rifle with an S SVD, uh, but that's just basically a big AK. 762 by 54 rimmed, 147 grain light ball. Uh, this has a mild iron penetrator in it, and it's moving at a ridiculous speed out of this 29 inch barrel. So we're gonna try this just for fun. That sounded like two hits to me. Okay, pretty dang interesting result. I have to admit, I had some really far reaching expectations for this and I thought, well, surely with some standoff distance, even a lower threat level armor will soak up some you know, higher threat ammo. Eh, not quite the case. I mean, when they say it's rated for that, it's rated for that. All right, so let's check out this level three and see how we did it, 277 yards. Now. Full disclosure that we are exceeding NIJ certification. This is, this is redneck science at this point. This is not any type of NIJ, NIJ certification. So our first two rounds of 5.56 that we fired, one here, one here, one of them did make it through, one didn't. Take that for what you will. Maybe that round was a little hotter, who knows? Maybe it hit the armor at a certain angle, who knows? But to say that 
A 62 grain M855 made it through at 277 yards. Really interesting result. We were reviewing our footage and we found I fired the PSL for two rounds there when I was at the bench. And it turns out a couple of my rounds grazed the edge of the plate. I guess we didn't have it uh, you know, figured out just right on the zero. We fired a couple of more shots and we were able to get one of those 54 hours to hit good and solid right here. But what happened? Ooh, went right through the freaking plate. Look at that back face deformation from that 54 rimmed. Also an interesting point, look where the 54 rimmed rounds hit the edge of the plate and look how they grazed out of the side. They deflected and grazed out. Isn't that cool? That's an interesting result to see. You can also see where this carrier or this armor plate is kind of ripped up here, the foam that they put on the outside of the plate. That's also to keep this plate from getting damaged if it gets dropped or bashed around or anything like that. So they'll have that padding to help keep the plate from getting damaged. That's super crucial. Interesting result. The 54R is a level four threat. Okay, the black tip Garand ammo, that's some pretty nasty stuff. So it's not only the velocity of the bullet, the cartridge, everything like that, the weight of the bullet, it's the design of the bullet. That black tip has that really gnarly penetrator in it. The 54 uh, has that light iron penetrator, but as you can see, even at 277 yards with that solid hit, the level three plate was no match for the 147 grain light ball out of the PSL. Interesting result. Uh, we're going to be revisiting this video with the level three plus armor and we'll throw some other threats at it. So we'll, you know, stay tuned for that. We'll come up with some really cool concepts. We have some M855A1 ammunition. The level three plus plate is rated for 556. So that'll be interesting to see what we can get to push through. Maybe we'll do this same standoff test with the level four threats and we'll see if it can shrug off the M1 Garand or the PSL maybe at extended ranges. So stay tuned for that. That'll be really cool. Definitely want to take a moment to thank all of our Patreon supporters who support us. Thank y'all so much. Also, if you buy man cans, we got some great merch box for sale uh, on the website. If you want to support us directly, those are the ways you can do so. Head over to Ballistic Inc., pick yourself up a snazzy t-shirt. Those are some of the most direct ways that you can support the channel if you want. Have a good one. Many more videos on the way. Thanks for watching. See you next time.